So a lot of mail has been coming in uh, these past few weeks. Uh, a lot of different projects going on. So they probably won't all be related. Um, but it's anyway always fun to open just some random packages and see what's inside. Let's start with this one. It says integrated circuits times two, a value of $3.80. There's a note in there. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, that's pretty well packaged. So these are two Peltier of Peltier uh, elements. Uh, they're both 12 volts. Uh, one is a 5 amp one and the other is a 15 amp one, which then makes a difference in wattage. Um, I was planning on doing some experiments with these. Uh, I saw someone on YouTube making a, a like a can cooler. You can put a, a can of soda in there and you can cool it with one of these. So I ordered them and uh, we'll have a look. Next one doesn't say anything, so be careful to open it. So these are some uh, CR2032 holders. I ordered some other ones. Um, they're in a, another video which I haven't uploaded yet. Uh, or by the time I'm uploading this one, maybe I have. Um, they're a bit different. And uh, well, first of all, the color is different. This one's white, that one's black. and. At the back, they're pretty much the same size, uh, but this one's a little bit longer or wider. But they both will fit a, a CR2032 cell, uh, so if you have a little bit more room, you can use one of these, and uh, otherwise, I'll use these. And uh, price wise, these white ones are a little cheaper. Um, these were one euro 74 for 20 pieces and this is one euro 65 for 10 pieces so these are the cheaper option um and you know i i, I think i also like the color white it's it's normally you get them in black uh white is just a bit nicer i think next one it says connectors 20 cents no, actually, they're not connectors. These are switches. These are some micro switches. So I ordered these for uh, a badge I'm designing. And uh, these also came from AliExpress and they were $1.25 for, I believe 20 pieces are in there. And I found a footprint online. And I think that footprint will work with these switches. Uh, but again, I have to check. Next one, it says expansion board module. And oh, can't really see what that is. So this is a 300 watts DC to DC uh, nine amp step down or buck converter and it has an input voltage of 5 to 40 volts and an output voltage uh, of 1.2 and a maximum of 35 volts next one it says a module one of them so this is a, a microphone a little electric microphone and it's based on the max 4466 op amp and it has some adjustable gain and you just connect vcc and ground and you get an output and you can use this for example with arduino or another microcontroller so the reason i bought this module is because it has the 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 max 4466 op amp on there and it has some uh, passive components it has an adjustable gain and uh, just makes it easier to do some experimenting uh, to see if this is a, 
a good op amp to use for small microphone projects. It has quite a, a, a wide input range, 2.4 volts, 5.5. So if you use a, a 3.3 volt microcontroller, you can still use this microphone. Next, it says integrated circuit. These are, well, actually related to this one. Uh, these are uh, some electric microphones. I was also uh, working on a project which used some kind of clapper circuitry and I needed a microphone for that. I already started cutting into this one. I'm uh, really excited because um, it says electronics. Uh, I want some electronics. Now, I have no idea what's in here. Um, probably electronics. So these are some uh, headphone jacks. Um, not only headphone, but also there is a fourth pin, um, which actually means it's a TRRS jack. And they are used in uh, the headphones, which have a microphone in there. Um, I'm designing a new version of the mini amp and I realized that when people use this, they will probably plug in just a normal headset, uh, which has a microphone. But because of the jack that is on the mini amp, which is a, a, a three pin jack, the microphone signal wouldn't be passed through. So you can't use uh, a headphone with a microphone built in uh, on the mini amp. On the next version you can, because now I have these four pin headphone jacks. Actually, these are not the jacks, these are the jack sockets. Because the jack is the pin and this is the socket, right? Next one, adapter. Again, very fake. And again, these are some electric microphones. The difference between these two is, well, first their size. These are a lot smaller. And these one are through hole and these are surface mount. Now I'm wondering, how am I gonna solder this? Um, let's zoom in a bit. So I've looked in different places and there are enough footprints for these. Um, but once it's on there, how am I gonna solder this? I'm gonna try and figure that out, and when I do, uh, I will show you. So, one more, again, integrated circuits. This time, five of them. Let's see what's in there. And these are some tiny chips. Let's get one out and see what they are. So this is very difficult to focus on camera and also quite difficult to hold still. Uh, but it says it's a B6289C and that is an MT3608 high efficiency 2 amp step up converter. So these are also going to be used on the new mini amp board. Uh, I haven't finished the board yet and I haven't even ordered them. Uh, but I ordered a few of these chips so that when the boards come, I can directly start soldering. And these are today's post back items. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.